And welcome to Championship Wednesday on NBC as the Syracuse Orange men are set to go against the Buckeyes of Ohio State. A mild day in Florida. Winds are going to be a factor, though. It'll affect the kicking game and the passing game. Here at Tampa Stadium, home of the Hall of Fame game. Syracuse has won the toss. The Orange men will receive to start the game. And they put in a trick play this week. We do know that Ohio State doesn't plan to kick off to Kadri. They'll pooch kick like this. Williams with a sharp kick and is taken by Ismail. They do get it to him. And now Ismail breaks one tackle, looks to bounce to the outside. And the missile could be launched. He is across the 45 and out to the Whoa. yard line. Syracuse on offense. Wisdom, the right guard, is the key player. He pulls and leads a lot of the trap options they run. The quarterback is a sophomore, Marvin Graves, excellent player. Wooten's the big blocker. David Walker, the leading rusher in the Big East Conference, almost 1,000 yards. Ismail and Shelby Hill, two deep threats. So the Orange men start from scrimmage at the midfield line. Graves with a straight drop. Big brush by Ohio State. They quickly screen it out. But the Buckeyes are there to make the step. There is the front seven for Ohio State. Big and strong, as is usually the tradition with the Buckeyes. Leading tackler, inside backers, Judah Herman and Steve Tovar, a first-team All-American. The corners, Walton and Polk. Roger Harper is a big hitter at the strong safety position. Now Syracuse goes to the option run and the pitch back. And Ohio State's there to defend it for the moment. Then Walker breaks it briefly. It's almost six yards a carry. But now Marvin Graves is going to pump throw. He is very, very strong of arm. He can throw deep as Grave takes the eight-yard drop and then guns it over the middle of the open man, Wooten, and he will be ahead for a Syracuse first down. As Syracuse, with the first first down of the game, goes first and ten, just inside the Buckeye 40-yard line. Grave, living dangerously, looked to pitch, then held on. The Liberty Bowl, when they were beaten by the Air Force Academy, was Ohio State. Cadets ran for almost 300 yards against them. Well, the ball was snapped. Tovar. Delayed by the offense, five-yard penalty. Still playing second down. Now on second and long, long yardage. Second and 21. Marvin Graves takes his drop again and flips over the middle. On the run is Shelby Hill, and Hill breaks it inside. He will go the distance. Shelby Hill is on his way for Syracuse into the end zone. No flags. So Syracuse hits the big play. And now, with their excellent place kicker, John Biscup, hitting the extra point, the Orange men open up with a 7-0 lead on their first possession of the game. We'll be back with the Syracuse kickoff in a moment. Still 12.05 to play in the first quarter, and now one of the best kickoff men in the country, Pat O'Neill, is ready to boot it for Syracuse. 80% of his kickoffs go into the end zone. 74% of his kickoffs over the last two years have not been returned. He kicks into a swirling wind and hits the ball down to Carlos Snow, and he breaks it for the Buckeyes. Carlos Snow turns it across the 30 and the 40. And we have an early track meet here at the Hall of Fame class. He's had two arthroscopies on his knee, but he's back in peak form, and here's a throw and a catch as Joey Galloway, a fleet young wide receiver. The offensive line of the Buckeyes features two future NFLers at tackle, Alan Klein and Jason Winrow. Sophomores at 300 pounds with great feet. Big and strong up front, as is usually the case with Ohio State. Herb Street starting just the second game of this season. Scotty Graham, the fullback, Snow, the ace runner. And now here is Herb Street sprinting out. He stops and throws a tip ball, and it's incomplete. It'll be second down and... The front seven, Trump of the Syracuse Orange men. Nose guard Kevin Mitchell, a sophomore. Coaches are talking about him in best ever category at Syracuse. Good linebackers, led by Glenn Young. Best cover man is Dwayne Joseph and Tim Sandquist. The free safety is a big play man in the secondary. Now on the draw play, Syracuse reads it as a gain of just two yards. And Herbstreit's dad had played and coached, and he always wanted to be a Buckeye. One call and he was one and here is an out pattern and the ball is almost picked a drop in the secondary 44 yards. Here's Tim Williams who's the punter and the place kicker. He angles the kick far sideline and knocks it out of bounds. And after forcing Ohio State to punt. 
Ismail is the man slotted, two up from the bottom. Running with the ball is Terry Richardson. It's going to be good to wear 44 at Syracuse, and now they go to the bone option. Bullhouse backfield, and the left guard jump. Four the ball was snapped, movement by the offensive lineman, five yard penalty, still second down. We haven't faced anybody in the Big Ten this year that uh, runs that particular kind of offense. Graves tries to run there, but Coach Cooper's Buckeyes are ready to stuff him as Steve Tovar is third down and eight. Graves again with a deep drop, but he's way over the head of his intended receiver, David Walker and Brian Stabline, back to receive the punt standing at his 36. Ball is boomed downfield, driving Stabline back to his 26. And Stabline works his way back to about the 33-yard line. Well, Herb Street really set in a hole now with his offensive unit with a first and 25, and they go to the run. And there's not much there. Syracuse is tough against the run, allows only 107 yards a game, just three yards a carry. Herb Street tries to screen it and does, but the Ohio State Buckeyes get nothing. And they meet September 19th at Syracuse in the next regular season. And off to Carlos Snow, and he breaks it. No, the top back for Ohio State. Tim Sandquist on the stop. The free safety Sandquist, and now a punt. Tim Williams hits the ball, and very well. Going back to the ball is Shelby Hill. Last time he had his hands out, you'll remember, he was in the end zone. And this time he's taken down at the 20-yard line. They have as diverse an offense as any team in college football, does Syracuse. And as Pascaloni says, we have a thick playbook and use all of it. First. Hits back out of reverse. That's Kerry Farrell turning up field. He has a blocker, a first down inside the 40, and he's all the way out to the 45 yard line. Downfield. Graves play faking, looking to throw over the middle, and he delivers the ball to Walker, who makes the catch. Only one team, Michigan, has scored more than 19 points this season in Ohio State. Syracuse scored seven the first time they got the ball. It's a 7 0 game. Graves. Hitches living dangerously, but he makes the connection to David Walker, and there's a penalty marker down. Holding by the offense during the run, 10 yards from the line of scrimmage, repeating second down. He's ready to play every Sunday, and he had enthusiasm that he generated in this team has stayed, and here's the downfield throw, and the connection is made inside the 50-yard line. More Doug Womack, number 10, comes in. He's a down-the-line pitch man. Wait to see him sprint out. Graves leaves the game. There it goes. Womack pitches. Walker with a first down and more for the Orange Men as he's inside the 40. Graves is back in the game. Womack in for one play. It was good for a first down. And now Syracuse drives him a 39-yard line of Ohio State. Quick out, Shelby Hill. He again eludes tacklers. And finally, they get Shelby Hill back at the 42-yard line. Syracuse using that thick playbook. Now with a second down and 12 play coming up. High stack. Graves throwing the slant. Delivers the ball hard, almost a completion. You rarely see the same formation in a sequence. Third down. Marvin Graves needs just over 12 yards. He's got time to deliver, and he has an open man. As Terry Farrell comes down with the ball. He is inside the 25 and dives down to the 20-yard line. The option quarterback. There he goes, running the option. There's the quick pitch. He goes to Walker, and again, he eludes the tackler and gets ahead. With Second down now comes up for Syracuse. Orange men leading 7-0 in the first quarter with 1.45 to play in it. They fake the pitch. For Ismail, then go to Walker, and he's not done till he's down to the 7-yard line. Set at the bottom of your screen to the right. Give was to the fullback, Marcus Lee. Second down and goal from the 6-yard line. Womack keeps it himself. Ohio State gets him, but they get him inside the five, and now the Buckeyes signal they've got the ball. We'll see one official coming in from the sideline. Three wideouts in the game. One setback, that's David Walker. Graves calls his own number, and he goes in. Oh, 
So the Ohio State Buckeyes coming off an embarrassing loss to Michigan in their final regular season game could be in the midst of yet another. The touchdown came on the final play of the first quarter. The extra point is up and good. And Syracuse taking on the number one defense in the Big Ten Ohio State and ripping through it every way imaginable. Goes on the board again with a second touchdown scored by quarterback Marvin Graves. So the responsibility is now the offense to move the chains. Pat O'Neill into the ball and he drives it deep. Carlos Snow is down, takes it two yards deep in his end zone. Ooh, a bad decision. He's got to go. He came out and finally does well to sprint out to the 15 or 16 yard line. First down and 10 Ohio State at the 16 yard line. Herb Street, deep throw on first down. Open man, but he misthrows the ball. And Buckeyes throwing and missing on first down, now faced with second and 10. Again, Herb Street takes a look. And again, he overthrows a wide open receiver. Kirk Herb Street was a win over Washington State. Now he has to throw on third down and 10 for Ohio State. Almost a pick. He tried to hit Brian Stabline on Connolly, who went out in the second game this season with a knee injury. Here's a punt hit well downfield by Williams, but it's a line drive, and Shelby Hill now looks for a channel. Not much there, puts his head down and gets a little bit. Hits seven of nine. He combined with Shelby Hill on a 50-yard scoring play, and the Orange men with the ball now lead it 14 to nothing. Graves throws again, another connection. This time the ball is downfield to Antonio Johnson. Marvin Graves was the most valuable player of the Aloha Bowl. The signals against the ball snap, Movement by an offensive lineman, five yards, repeating first down. Audible at the line of scrimmage. They lose only three starting players. Here's David Walker busting into the Ohio State defense. Been doing that today. He is out of Arondequoy High School in Rochester, New York. Here is Marvin Graves taking a deep look, and he swept under back of the 45-yard line as the Ohio State defense going after him as they bring people up. Third down and 15. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Antonio Johnson with lead. Pat O'Neill hits the ball downfield. Brian Stabline runs it back for Ohio State and does well to get to the 30-yard line. First and 10 at the Buckeyes' 30-yard line. Handoff goes to fullback Jeff Cothburn as Herb Street having some problems connecting with downfield receivers. Ohio State's had a lot of people running free in the Syracuse secondary. Here's a throw and a connection as Cothburn takes the ball. And he's ahead. And 14 to nothing Syracuse in points. But the receivers are there for Herb Street. Now they go to the run. And this is Benote. He's a sophomore runner, maybe the fastest Buckeye. Making it very difficult for Ohio State to run. Herb Street hits an open man this time again. Coughlin comes down with the ball. Those big 300-pound offensive tackles of Ohio State dig in. Power set in the backfield. I back is Benode, and he gets the no. It's an option keep, and the Syracuse Orangemen shut it down. Then a penalty marker comes in. Five yard face mask against the defense. Tacked on the end of the run will be first down. George Rooks, one of the defensive players of the year in the Big East Conference. Coming back on a counter run. Syracuse had trouble stopping the run late in the season. They were very tough to run out earlier in the season. Here is a throw and a catch by Galloway, who sprints inside the 20. And the a young guy. Galloway caught just eight passes in the regular season, but averaged 21 yards a catch. Now the no day breaks in and takes it inside the five-yard line. Benote twists down to the goal line. He's not in, but he's close. Buckeyes are big up front. They jam it in now. Syracuse jumps into the gaps of the goal line defense, and it didn't appear that the carry was in. Ohio State, you see, 27 rushing touchdowns. They scored only five this season, passing the ball. Hand off. Benote in a big oh. strike. Lasardi, 39. Ohio State. Good look to run option play here. There's nothing up the middle. They do a slant run, and Syracuse oh. stops it. Kevin Mitchell takes over first and 10 at the Syracuse one-yard line. Graves is liable to throw. 
Better still keep it himself. Yeah. Go back. First back up is usually the lead blocker. Graves and the Orangemen need three. Graves takes it himself, and let's see, the spot will be everything. Fumble. It didn't inspire his team, though, although Cooper has on many Saturdays as Michigan blew out Ohio State. Here is Marvin Graves turning the corner and gets out to the 20-yard line, very close to a first down. Third down, and they need a, almost three yards. Marvin Graves with that quickness is caught. From behind the line of scrimmage, a big play by nose tackle. Early lead built up by the Orange Men still holds 14-0. As Tim Williams hits their, O'Neal hits the ball downfield, the state line, and he is stuck right away. Woo. And to influence the coverage to throw it underneath down. And to this point, Ohio State's not, not run the ball well enough to really affect the coverage. <laughs> On second and five, Herb Street takes a deep look, hits the open man. That time he threads it as he spots a tight end, Cedric Saunders. Herb Street looking to pump again, delivers the ball out to Galloway, and he's down to the 16 yard line. He went up the middle three times and didn't get there. Now they're going to throw the ball on second and short. Well, Herb Street tucks it in. And Herb Street is pounded for a loss of about two yards. Third and three. Herb Street gets some time, makes the throw, almost an interference call, but none is forthcoming. Now Herb Street is the holder, and Tim Williams will try a field goal from the 25-yard line. 35-yard attempt. Ball is hit up. Plenty long, and it's through. So the Buckeyes have had their chances, and finally they get on the board with a field goal by Tim Williams. And it's a 14-3 game, Syracuse, with 126 to play in the first half. Missed the leadoff game on Championship Wednesday on NBC. As for a touchdown, he can do it in the NFL and certainly against us. This time, the high kick goes right to Ismail, and the blockers are in front of him. The missile turns the corner. Straight downing tacklers, he's out to the 37-yard line. Syracuse with a double wide receiver set. An eye formation in the backfield goes to the throw on first down. Marvin Graves, in his wisdom, sees nobody open. 38-21. So then lost back-to-back -back games to Florida State and East Carolina. They concluded the season with five straight wins. Graves stands in, and Ismail going high for the ball, can't get to it. Ismail is really, with 200 catches a day in the offseason, has improved his receiving. He is a goal setter and a goal achiever as the pitch goes up the middle, and this is David Walker. Stutter stepping into the Ohio State secondary. Ismail wide to the left, lower portion of your screen. He said his goals this season were to be an All-American in track and an All-American in football. He achieved both. Big money will be offered him by a Western Canadian team. Field throw. Almost a pickoff, or is it? I think it is. Chico Nelson. Chico Nelson patrolling the gardens out there. Yeah, now they're saying no catch. Denver, where the AFC Western champion Broncos host the Oilers in a divisional playoff game. Coverage begins with NFL Live at 3.30 Eastern Time. Looks like somebody play. jumped, as he might have a free play indeed. Here is a throw and an interception, but it'll be waved off. Offsides defense. Now the ball position at the 43 yard of Ohio State with time down to 34 seconds to play in the first half. Graves with the back pedal. Here comes the rush. He releases the ball. Gedney catches it, but the Buckeyes are there to get him right away. Marvin Graves could be digging into his bag of tricks. Rolling out is Marvin, taking a look. Here comes the rush oh, back the open. other way. He's got an open man. And on the run, all the way down. The best of the bowls on NBC, culminating with the national championship game tonight at the Orange Bowl in Miami. Play for the Syracuse. Ball snap, movement by the line, five yards. Graves with the pitch. 
Working hard to get out of bounds, and he does. Is coming up at halftime. You'll see Script Ohio, a hallmark of the great Ohio State band, and we'll also have more on the Nebraska controversy. As Biscop has his field goal attempt blocked, running with the ball is Andy Gerd, and Gerd will run out the clock. So Ohio State blocks a field goal to end the first half, but the Syracuse Orangemen in command of the first two quarters going into the locker room with a 14 to 3 halftime lead. We scored halftime of the Hall of Fame Bowl, Syracuse 14 to 3 over Ohio State. Woven up a 24 to 3 halftime lead and went on to win 31 to 6. Now the kickoff by Syracuse is driven down to Carlos Snow. They set up a return left. Following his blockers, he cuts outside a great seal block by tight end Cedric Saunders, who took three Syracuse players out. Buckeyes go first and 10 from their 36. First back and at 64 solo tackles, a Syracuse single season record. A throw and a catch, and the ball is out to the 42 yard line. Of three wide receivers, third down and four. Blitz, it's picked up nicely. Herb Street delivers and makes the connection out to Joey Galloway for a first down. They split time. Herb Street, quick out. Bernard Edwards looking to throw. He has a problem now. And does the wise thing. He throws it to the Syracuse bench. Now it is second down 10 in 10 Ohio State. Syracuse continues to give yards grudgingly to now big down for Herb Street in the Buckeye offense. They need almost nine. Again, the Buckeyes pick up the blitz and Herb Street delivers off target. Spiral driven downfield. Shelby Hill lets it hop and it goes into the end zone for a touchback. Three wide receivers set and now they bring the tight end in motion for Syracuse. Another excellent throw, and Shelby Hill almost breaks it again. Gray's ready to pump again on first down. Again, he throws a hard ball inside, and it's Ohio State picking it off. It's skipped off of Padre Ismail. Herb Street on the option, takes it himself, and gets nothing as he's knocked down. Now he works with second down and just over 10. Play faking, he gets a block, and is sat for a loss of almost 10 yards. And that was in John Cooper's debut as Buckeye coach, and the Ohio State defeated Syracuse that day 26 to 9 and 88. Now a downfield throw by Herb Street. Goal in the second quarter, ready to punt the ball now. Gets it downfield, and Shelby Hill ready to run it back. He's taken down at the 20. But towards the end of the season, when we started getting ready for the playoffs and everybody started coming together, I started feeling better and more comfortable with offense and with the special teams. And I really felt well, and everything turned out well. What is the uh, offseason? So the missile has a little bit more tackle breaking power. On second and six, Graves pulls it back in in a big play, then he throws it back out. Terrific play by Steve Tovar. Orangeman needs six. Graves. Uh oh. Henry, and there goes the missile. Down to the seven yard line. His brother, Rocket, jumped out into the end zone. So we had a missile and a rocket blast off. Now the whistle blows. Before the ball will snap, delay a game by the offense. Five yards. Uh, has great ability, and he's just completing a year in prep school. Graves working the option. And again, Ohio State strings it out. Reverse. Big reverse. Like all the great option men. Third down, Marvin Graves and Syracuse need 18. 
Graves to Antonio Johnson, but quickly. So here's the man from East Islip, Long Island, who is the most accurate field goal kicker in Syracuse history. John Biscop, and he's got another year. Biscop delivers again, and the Orangemen extend their lead now to 17 to 3 with 6.35 to play in the third quarter. O'Neill ready to kick it off for Syracuse as his teammate Viscov has just hit a field goal to give Syracuse a 17 to 3 lead here in the third quarter. And here comes Carlos Snow for Ohio State. Carlos Snow breaks it all the way out to midfield. To the run they go. This time the give is off and running with the ball is Raymond Harris. And his nickname is Storm. Here's a handoff, and they go to Scotty Graham on second and short. His Buckeyes have to get it in here to get this game back in sync. They're down 17 to 3 and need big plays. And now they're powering the ball at Syracuse as again they go to Raymond Harris. Dave Mano at right guard, Jason Winrow, another top tackle at right tackle for the Buckeyes. Third down. Buckeyes need a long two. They get it. Raymond Harris takes it down to the 32-yard line. Herb Street hands up. And again, Raymond Harris with that great first step. Three wideouts in the game now. No tight end. Second back through is Carlos Snow. Herb Street 9 of 17 so far for 99 yards. In deep trouble, Herb Street gets it away and makes the connection for a first down. Now Herb Street on the sprint out. He's got room to run. He throws. Touchdown if he wasn't over the line of scrimmage, and he was not. Let's see. They're waving it off. Apparently it was dropped. Let's see if we can see if this ball hits. Oh, oh no, that's a touchdown. But there's no replay in college football. You want an argument why the NFL keeps it? There's a good one right there. Clearly a catch. Clearly a touchdown. The official mistake. That'll bring up second down and ten. And up. Carlos Snow says, I'll do it myself. And he takes it to the four-yard line. All it'll do is just exacerbate a mistake. Whoa! And this time, Kirk Herbstreet is caught on a cornerback blitz. And holding by the defense in the end zone. This, now, this should be Carlos Snow. He's the eye back. Two blockers up front. Carlos Snow is the man, and he's in. Justice prevails. Amen. <laughs> Same guy threw the flag, and he did the right thing. Williams hits it up and good, and a long way to go, and the Buckeyes have inched back into the game down 17 to 10. Carlos Snow on the payoff end, and Ohio State kicks it off in a moment. To the game for Ohio State. Syracuse now leading 17 to 10. Here is a squib kick, and the missile ran right into one of his own guys going after the ball. First down, Syracuse. Hand off to Terry Richardson. Buckeyes will be hunting the football, trying to knock it free. As Gray stands in after a terrific play that throws everybody. One interception, he really hit the target, but it bounced off the receiver. Incomplete. There's Brian Stabline and a walk-on from Erie, Pennsylvania. And O'Neill crushes the ball. And wisely, Stabline lets it hop into the end zone for a touchback. That'll do it for three quarters of play at the Hall of Fame Bowl. 17-10 Syracuse will be back after these messages from your local station. 
Last possession started at midfield, and they took it in. Carlo Snow with the score. Now they go to the run and running hard with the ball. Second down and eight play. Long ball, man's open, but Galloway can't get to it. An overthrow. Thrown too quickly. Boys down. Hurt Street loses his footing trying to set up. Graham played behind Tony Rice. Oh, bad step. But they get the kick away. Williams hits the ball downfield. It takes a Buckeye roll, and then Shelby Hill is taken down at the 44-yard line. Marvin Graves always poised, going with the long count. There's the pitch. Walker turns up field and is hit out of bounds at about the 49-yard line. Henry Ismail at the lower portion of the screen as they go to the run. David Walker takes it to midfield. Now Marvin Graves at a situation that often displays his excellence. Third down and four. Will he run or pass? A straight drop back. A release. Incomplete. And Syracuse has to punt the ball. Long spiral by O'Neill. But it hops into the end zone. Jeff Cothran in the backfield. He's the up back in front of Carlo Snow. Cothran first back through, drives ahead, and takes tacklers with him. Been that way since early in the yeah, game. It sure has. Before the ball was snapped, movement by an offensive lineman, five yards. Herb Street rolling out, looking downfield, delivering the ball. And an open man has to go way up to get it. A big play by Joey Galloway. First and ten. I'm used to running for yards, but this is a little tougher. All but we've got a great program at Ohio State, and we try to do the best we can. All right, thank you, and good luck with okay, it. Third down and eight. Fabline comes down with the ball as again the delivery is Victor Frank, our director Richard Klein, executive producer Terry O'Neill. As the Buckeyes go to a reverse, and Joey Galloway has a big problem. He runs his way out of it and does get back to the line of scrimmage. And not much there. A hard hit on hit put on Raymond Harris. Third and seven, the Ohio State pass blocking is good, but now it breaks down and Herb Street has to scramble. And he throws the ball away. Was and now the more receiver downfield against the offense. Penalty is declined. Got fourth down coming up. Buckeyes down by seven with 9.16 to play. Herb Street throws. Incomplete. The Orange men take over the ball. Syracuse will now try to take some time off the clock. Here's a pitch back, and here comes the missile, Padre Ismail. They cut him down in the backfield. Graves buys time with another good fake, and then whips the ball downfield, but he comes in high. His team needs 19 yards for the first down. Graves has it slapped back and incomplete. Standing at his 32. Blocked in the end zone. A live ball, and the Buckeyes are on it. Touchdown, Ohio State. Tito Paul. A very important extra point. It is on the way. And good. And Ohio State, down not that long ago by a 17-3 count, rallies back to tie the game with still a lot of time to play, 8.03 to go. We decided that time a block of a punt is Ohio State the time touchdown. Now a short kick, and here comes Ismail breaking it. Padre Ismail almost turns the corner. But there's plenty of magic still in that offense. They've gotten conservative Syracuse. Now they might start to open it up again as they did at the outset of the game when they took a 14-0 lead. Running hard. 
Second down and six. Syracuse. Full house backfield. One wide receiver. Gray's pump faking. There's a oh, wide open. open man. Uh, Antonio Johnson takes it and he'll go in. Syracuse, after leading 17 to 3 and then tied 17 all, erupts on a 60 yard scoring play, a play fake by Marvin Graves. Yeah, the penalty is assessed, the unsportsmanlike conduct penalty right, assessed right. on the kickoff, a kickoff from the 50 here. So they kick it out of the end zone, it'll come out to the 20. I don't want to do that. As the Buckeyes again find themselves down by seven. Herb Street looks, has an open man, and he hits him. Bernard Edwards on an out pattern. Hello, Snow breaks it. And with that juke move, it's first down Ohio State. Game clock at 6.54 to play. Herb Street, timing throw. Hallowell drops an open ball. Now it is second down and 10 for Ohio State. Herb Street running out of options. Open man. Galloway comes down with the ball, then a penalty marker. Let's see what the call is here. A wide receiver hasn't been in there yet, but he could be coming in any time to run the deep pattern. Blitz. Hand off. And Carlos Snow runs the ball. Oops. Before the ball was snapped, movement by the offense, five yards. Earlier today, East Carolina beat North Carolina State in the Citrus Bowl. Herb Street throws. Oh. Then Syracuse hit a 60-yard scoring play in their next possession. Herb Street swept under. Ohio State has to punt. So that he is rallying his troops on the sideline. We're going to get it again. It's the punt downfield now by Tim Williams. Carries into the end zone and for Syracuse holding to a 24-17 lead. Now has the ball first down and 10 at the Orangeman 20. Gray with the pitch. David Walker runs with the ball. And he slams ahead across the 25-yard line. A free ball on the field. The only one that counts points Syracuse's way. On second down and a long three, almost four. Graves gives to his fullback. Straight ahead carry is stopped short of the first down, but Graves, as his team gets the first down, now sets up with a first down at the 30-yard line. Hand off again to Walker. Walker has run the ball 13 times today for Syracuse for 56 yards. Graves with one of his very best plays. First scoring pass today, a 50-yard play to Shelby Hill. Last scoring pass, a 60-yard scoring play to Antonio Johnson. Ball thrown by Marvin Graves is on first down and 10 on the offensive side. They have many leaders on defense. And off again, first back through. They are drowning in mistakes as it's third down and less than a yard for Syracuse. Graves. He's cut down short of the first down. He's taken down at the 45 yard line. O'Neill's going to become one. Gets it away quickly, hits a line drive. And it hops out of bounds inside the Buckeye 10 yard line. Kirk Herbstreet, a six foot two inch, 213 pound former Ohio player of the year. The man who always wanted to be a Buckeye. His dad played and coached for Ohio State. But Herbstreet. Finds nothing but misery as he tries to roll out. Changing personnel here with 43 seconds to go. What's going on? Right now, Ohio State is not at all on the same page. <laughs> Herb Street looks and delivers, and he's not close, says Joey Galloway. The big rushers dig in for the Orange Men. Herb Street dropped with a last chance effort. Down the field he throws, and Galloway, wide open, can't get to the ball. Well, the 
took a three. I don't think Marvin ever got the snap. Well, the ball was snapped. Movement by the offense. Now there's no question as they're back at the six yard line. They do give it to Wooten. He was heading for the, he was heading for the gold dust if it was there, and that will do it as the Buckeyes are powerless to stop the clock now. And a tremendous first year for Coach Paul Pasqualoni, the successor to Dick McPherson. As the Orangemen of Syracuse complete Pasqualoni's first season with a 10 and 2 record, including wins over Florida and now Ohio State. And the best for this Syracuse team may be yet to come. Almost everybody comes back. Now for Bob Trumpy and Beasley Reese, this is Don Cricky saying so long from Tampa. Stay tuned for more great college football action as Joe Paterno and his Nittany Lions go against Johnny Majors in 10th ranked Tennessee in the Fiesta Bowl. That's all coming up next on NBC Sports as Championship Wednesday continues.